Hey, it's been a while. I've been really busy from volleyball robotics in my school, but now I got a chance to sit down and actually rest and talk to you guys about fish. I really hope you enjoy the video and also hope that you learned a lot from this. We have our specimen right here and we're going to be looking at the outside body parts. So let me unwrap this really quickly and we can reveal the specimen. Here's our specimen right here. We're going to be labeling the outside body parts that it has. Right here are the eyes. It helps the fish with almost a 270 degree angle view. It's really cool and then here's a few pictures of what the fish sees. These pictures represent on how the fish see the world around them. Also, your front door peepholes are based off the fish's eye. Here is where the nares are located. This is the nares. This helps the fish smell for predators or even prey. Here are a few examples of nares from different types of animals. Here is the mouth, and here is the gill. The gill helps with breathing and filtering. Here is the dorsal fin. Here is the spiny dorsal fin. It helps with defense. Here's an example of a spiny dorsal fin. And here is the soft dorsal fin. It helps with quick movement around sharp turns. Here is the pectoral fin right here, and it helps steer the fish around in the water. The pectoral fin's function is, is very similar to a human hand. Here is the pelvic fin. It helps balance a fish underwater. Pelvic fin is similar to a human feet. Here is the anal fin. It helps stabilize the fish when roaming around underwater. Here is the caudal fin. It's the main source of movement for the fish. Here is an example of a caudal fin on a fighting fish. It's very pretty. And finally, here's the anus. It's where the fish poops. I don't think you want me to show you a picture of that. Now we're going to be starting to cut the fish open. You want to start at the beginning of the mouth. Follow the line using really sharp scissors such as these and having the bottom of the fish facing side up. Cut down from the mouth all the way down to the beginning of the anus anal fin right here. You will be cutting through muscle and bone so you will have to use some force for it but try to cut as shallow as you can. And now since we got all the way cut to the anal fin you want to cut all around this section up to the dorsal fin. So start where you were and cut in a circle pattern till you reach around the dorsal fin. Final snip. And we're done cutting this section. Now we need to cut from here around the fin all the way up above the gill. Now since you've cut all the way up above to the fin, you want to cut along all the way to the cut you made on the second cut along the laryl line. Right here. So you just want to cut just a little bit above it all the way till you get to the other side. Now that you've cut all sides of the of the fish. 
You can now remove the flap and you should be left with something like this. Now let's zoom in and look at the inside body parts. Let's look at the inside anatomy now. This is the stomach. It is used for digestion. This is the intestine. It is used to get rid of solid waste from the body. This is the air bladder. It helps keep the fish afloat. Under the air bladder is the heart. It's a two chain for heart because this is a bony fish. And right here is the liver. And, and under the liver is the gold bladder. This black part right here. Here is the spinal cord. This is what the fish's spinal cord would look like if I took all the meat, intestines, and gunk out of it. Now for the grand finale. The fish we just took apart, let's put it back together.